Hello, this is Stephen Wood, Applications Engineer for Contranex. I'll be showing you how to wire up the Contranex light curtains, both with the multifunction relay YRB 0330-242 and with the safety relay YRB 0131-241 dash 241 in a series of videos. This is the Safety Next Safety Light Curtain and Access Control Barrier Manual that I can send to you via the internet should you require any additional assistance. Um, on page 9 you will find this table at the bottom. And it's going to tell you exactly what your wire colors are for your cables. Automatic restart mode wiring. For this demonstration, I've taken the sender wire and I've highlighted it with green and placed green markings on each one of the wires. And I've also color coded the um, drawing. You have a black wire from the sender pin 4. Green, uh, blue wire from sender pin 3, brown wire from the sender pin 1. Um, you'll see the pin 3's are blue for the receiver, brown for pin 1, black for pin 4, and this is a white wire for pin 2. I'm going to wire the sender wire first and I'll show you that then I'll remove it and I'll wire the receiver wire and then I'll remove it and I will then connect the entire system. This image is of the top of the relay. I want you to take note to this contact S33 and this contact S34. These are the automatic restart contacts and I'm going to show you that right here there is a terminal 33 and on the bottom matching up there's a terminal 34. Um, don't get those confused while you're wiring or your, your light curtain will not operate. Okay, I have a power supply connected to this box. I've got DC positive going to the red terminals and common going to the black terminals. You're going to see that I have the blue wire from the sender connected to DC common. I have the brown wire connected to DC positive. I have the pin 4 wire, which is the black wire, off of the cable running to a test switch. And from there, it goes back to the positive wire. That's following this wiring draw diagram. That's the switch right there. And that allows you to test your system to make sure it's operational. Receiver wire is simply set up so that the DC common comes in on blue, positive to brown, S22 black, S12 white. Here I have everything connected and the final connection that has to occur you'll see on the drawing right here S33 and S34 is going to take a jumper wire that allows for the automatic restart. I'm going to put that in and we'll power this unit up and give it a try. Okay I've powered up the system. I added the power wire for the relay through A1 and A2. Um, and it does an automatic restart. When I break it, it comes back alive. You can see it right here. Um, and that's how the automatic restart works. Going from automatic restart mode to manual mode is very simple. Instead of going between S33 and S34 with a jumper wire, we're going to break that with a switch. There will be a switch on your panel that you would just depress when you want it to restart. 
when you do that, you have to pry this panel up. You just simply put a screwdriver in right here, twist it, and this will come up. On the reverse side of this panel, it will show you the positions of S1, which is right here, and S2 right here. Um, I don't know if you can read it, but this says automatic or manual position, um, without or with. And the drawings show that in both cases, this goes to without, and this is the only one that you change. So for manual mode, we switch that down to manual. Make sure you have your power off when you're accessing this device. And I'll power it up. And that's going to force us to create a reset. You can use a regular push button. I just have a single operating switch. I just have to toggle it back and forth. But you'll see it's operating now. When I break the plane, it turns it off. And in order to turn it back on, I have to turn the switch again. 